Hi guys and welcome to a brand new first look on the channel. We are taking a look at Through the Darkest of Times, as you can see by Paint Bucket Games. Thank you very much for them. Hitler was appointed Chancellor in 1933, the masses cheered. But we were not among them. We knew that the times would be bad now. We knew that the Nazi threats were not empty. That those people meant what they said. We had to do something. We couldn't just stay silent. But we also knew that it can cost us our heads. I didn't know the little intro was coming up there. But thank you very much to Paint Bucket Games for providing me with the key for this game and if it is a game that you are interested in after watching this then you can find an affiliate link down below uh, so please if you do want to get this game do it that way it just helps me out a little bit it doesn't affect you whatsoever you just click that link and, and follow it through there's no extra cost whatsoever on there for yourselves um one thing i will point out at this stage is this is trying to be as accurate to history as possible that there definitely will be content in this game that isn't suitable for everyone so viewer discretion is advised on this um there will be things that are said and seen that do not reflect my views the views of the makers of the game uh, the views of a lot of people nowadays it's 2020 uh, as i'm recording and yeah just an indication of what Nazi Germany was actually like. Let's go and have a look at the uh, story mode. Let's. Yes, I want that mustache. We're going to be Horst Wall, 40 year old judge, a Christian liberal. We will not be silent. We are your guilty conscience. The resistance will not leave you alone. Chapter 1 The Seizure of Power. Stop the regime. So, um, yeah, you're basically in this game an underground resistance movement that are trying to deal small blows to the Nazis. Um, like I say, it's meant to be accurate to history, so you can't defeat the Nazis, you can't stop their atrocities. But we can do what we can. On January 30th, 1933, President Paul von Hindenburg appointed Adolf Hitler to be Chancellor of Germany. That same night still... Three friends met in the back room of a Berlin pub to commit and to resist what is about to become. Everywhere in Germany, ordinary people, friends and families made the same commitment, risking their lives to help others and fight an inhumane regime. This is their story. Hitler is Chancellor. President Bob von Hindenburg appoints Adolf Hitler Chancellor of Germany. NSDAP celebrates liberals unless they're devastated. Hitler swears oath to uphold German laws and constitution and to save all German citizens. Centrium talks with Hitler. The Conservative Centrium Party has a number of questions on how the new Chancellor plans to continue certain policies. By the election results, a new right wing Conservative government led by Hitler should see a number of Centrium ministers. So far, Hitler hasn't answered. SA marches. Tens of thousands of organised stormtroopers, SA brown shirts, marched through the Brandenburg tour after Hitler's appointment. The parliamentary group was clearly prepared and awaited this moment. Let's go and take a look at this, shall we? Like I say, it is my first look at the game. I'm going to give you my honest opinions of the game. We're going to play for a couple of days, I believe. Um, we'll see how long each day in game is. It could be one day, we could play through, it could be ten, who knows. Um, 1st of February 1933, when I enter our secret meeting place I heard Sebastian Bowman say they made him Chancellor. Hitler, this, this is a disaster. How could President Hindenburg appoint him? Uh, we have no time. We need to convince more people to support our cause before we draw any attention to ourselves. They're just waiting for a reason to have people like us arrested. Don't you think so too, Sebastian asked me. Um, I think you're right, we need more supporters first. See, says Sebastian. While we wait, the Nazis persecute and kill people. They get stronger every day, they aren't stopped. Dave takes a sip of your drink. 
her drink even, she doesn't take a sip of my drink. Uh, I hear you, but we need to be careful. You're right, but we can't help anyone if we're dead or in prison, can we? So, what is the most important task right now, Sophie asks. Uh, uh, fighting the regime. This regime and its ideology are evil. They need to be stopped at all costs, I say. End of scene. So obviously we have myself here, the newspaper in the background, where we plan our missions, Sophia Hahn and Sebastian Bowman. And these are the missions we have available at the moment. We have find a new member. Hitler Chancellor, this can't be true. The Nazis are full of hate. Nothing good will come of this. Collect donations and talk to workers. In our inventory we've got a bicycle, 50 marks and some intel. We can't read. And we have no contacts at the moment. Talk to workers. Roman End, a worker and supporter of the group, wants to introduce us to some of his co-workers. Required skills, propaganda, empathy, helpful is worker, idealist, inspiring, harmful is academic, freelancer and white collar. So um, we gain supporters, unlocks, leaflets, paper and paint. And plus two morale. So if we just whack uh, us in there, we don't particularly have many of the skills. We have the empathy skill. Um, as you see, preparation is decent. Danger is average. Uh, but we're going to put both. Both is a freelancer, so she's not great for that. I guess it will be me then. Collect donations. Our supporters among the workers in Crowsburg might be willing to help us out with some donations. Uh, level 1 skill in empathy and propaganda. So that is going to be Sebastian. And you see the little blue one lit up so helpful that he's a worker. And that leaves Sophie to find a new member. We need to find candidates we can trust who are willing to join our group, but don't give away that recruiting for the resistance. And, ooh, okay. So Sophie's gonna have to come out of that one. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to put Sophie in there. We're gonna have to deal with the potentially harmful. It's gonna gain five or six supporters. He's gonna gain between 11 and 14 and marks and if we put ourselves in here we don't know what we're going to gain yet but we have the skills required to do these let's confirm that and end the planning phase we're gonna have three people and three tasks so we've got five supporters we get two donations from our current supporters uh sophie han meets with co-workers of our support in crowsberg Talks to them to see if some would be willing to help us out. It turns out there are still people not happy about the regime and willing to do something about it. Plus six supporters. Next up, Sebastian Bauman visits the group's known supporters among workers in Crosberg and asks for additional donations. He's successful. People are upset about the latest atrocities of the regime and are willing to help the group. Plus 14 marks, as you see up in this top left hand corner. Us Wall talks to dedicated supporters to find out if they'd be willing to join our group. He finds three who we think might be able to become core members of the group. Now it's on to us to decide which one should join the group. We have Hans Fries, 26 year old tax collector, social democrat, 4 in secrecy, 2 empathy, 2 strength, 1 propaganda, 3 literacy. Um, Daniela Frankfurter, 40 year old, IPIS, national conservative. 3, 1, 3, 3, and 2. So decent in everything. And Roman End, 33 year old metal worker, moderate liberal. Uh, here's her middle ground. I didn't realise she could click on these. I don't trust her because she's a conservative. Um, I am going to go with Roman because he's got fantastic propaganda right now. So we're going to bring Roman into the group. It's already dark as I ride home on my bike. The streets are empty and a nice cold wind sneaks its way through my scarf. Or oh, his face a little bit deeper in there. Let it get nice and warm and cosy. 
we're going to go and head for the group, I believe. There are three men, all wearing the brown shirts and swastika armbands of the SA. The surrounding civilian. Get off the bike and move closer, I think we're going to do. Dirty Jew yells aloud this one. He steps forward and pushes the man so hard that he falls to the ground. And approach carefully. He loses his hat and I see uh, that he's wearing a kipper beneath it. That's it, Rudolph. Show him cheers another one. I'm going to interfere. I'm going to risk it. Hey, I shout. What's going on here? Leave him alone. The group slowly moves towards me, forgetting the old man for a moment. What do you want? demands Rudolph. Mind your own business. Piss off. Let's try calming him down. Come on, guys. No reason to get so upset. Shouldn't you be celebrating? Why all this violence? While I talk to the group, the old man quietly gets up and moves away from us. You won, didn't you? Your Führer will lead Germany back to its former greatness. What else do you want? The guy they called Rudolf steps closer, both hands at his belt. I can smell his bad breath. You, the thug says. You better bugger off right now, or you will seriously regret it. The new day. People can't oppress us any longer. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be happy now that your Führer has taken over, I say. While we're talking, I see the old man moving further and further away. Rudolf, says the third SA folk who've remained silent so far. I think the Jew is gone. I run to my bike. I take advantage of the opportunity and jump onto my bike. Stop, shouts Rudolf. Stop, you will pay for this. Idiots, I shout and pedal as fast as I can. I only slow down when I can't hear the angry voices anymore. You have to get used to things like these happening. End of scene. And at the end of the day, we got minus one overall on morale, plus nine for missions, minus ten general weekly decline, plus six supporters. Parliament has been dissolved. At Hitler's wish, Hindenburg dissolved Parliament. All members of the House lose their seats. Chancellor forms a prim preliminary interim government for new elections. Emergency decrees. So called emergency decrees. Decrees. Massively limit freedom of assembly and speech. Hitler's newly expanded powers can be used to shut down protests and quash any critical press. Hitler speaks with generals. Hitler speaks with high-ranking military officers, discussing the need to rebuild the army and expand to the east. 8th February 1933. In the middle of our meeting, Sebastian Baumann addresses the group. Everyone, there's a public protest against the Nazis coming up. I'm going to say this is a good chance. Sebastian continues, we can spread the world. We can recruit others, people willing to protest are exactly the people we need. Okay, let's do it, I say. So, we can join the public protest. Uh, that gave us plus five on is the morale. Uh, is that the protest? That is the public protest. We have to send three members in for that one. Let's send Ronan to find some new members. Uh, and then the other three can all go in. Join the public protest and let's go. We lost one supporter. Ten people are still supporting us. Got three marks, so you, you lose a supporter every week as well after the first week. Uh, Roman finds three people who he thinks would be able to join the group, plus five morale as well. White collar, moderate liberal, a welder, social democrat, and a judge, Catholic conservative. Well, let's go. I didn't realize you could click on them and tell you uh, what they say. We'll go with Paul, he's got at least two in everything, which seems to be the, the base mark. We're joining the 200,000 protesters who gathered the... Uh, gathered, who gathered at the in the Berlin... That's... yeah, that's what confused me. At the in the Berlin Lustgarden Park to protest. The speaker asked for the crowd for discipline and unity in resisting the Nazis. Do not worry, there are too many of us. Hitler and his henchmen can't stop us, he says. We talked to other protesters and some are willing to support us in the future. So plus nine supporters as well. 
Uh, plus 10 overall on the morale. And plus 8 supporters. The right wing coalition. The right wing parties. DNVP and Stalheim established the Camp Front Schwartz with Rot. They will participate in the March elections and build a coalition with the Nazis. Kollwitz steps down. Henrik Mann and Keith, Keith Kollwitz step down from the positions within the Prussian Academy of Arts on the pressure from the Nazis. And Hitler speaks at Sports Palace. Adolf Hitler opens the NSDAP election campaign with a speech in the Berlin Sports Palast. Um, so we'll do a couple more days and we've got nothing to say at this point. So we've got that extra member, we could go and plan some missions. Uh, so we'll go and throw Sebastian in to collect some donations. Uh, talk to workers. Sophia. Do we get more if we throw more people and we do? You're decent and so we'll go with you two there. And then Sophie and myself can go and buy some paper. What what did that change? Okay, we can carry extra paper. Fair enough. So, let's go and do that for now. Uh, we lost one supporter, 18 still support, and there's 5 marks from the supporters. We went to buy paper, we picked the shop where nobody knows her. Clerk returns with 5 stacks of paper plus 2 morale. Uh, we gain another 9 supporters there, that's quite nice. As an achievement pops up behind my head. Um, and in terms of donations, 11 marks, beautiful. So we lost 4 overall morale, plus 8 again on the supporters. It's quite nice. Industry leaders support Hitler. At a meeting with the representatives of the German industry, including Krupp, Quant, Flick and Opel, Hitler announces he will abolish democracy but protect private property. The participants donate large sums to the NSDAP. The SA and the SS form new police force. Reichsmarschall Goring appoints 50,000 SA and SS members as special constables and urges them to enforce a law with prejudice. Oscar Maria Graf leaves Germany. The famous writer Oscar Maria Graf Goes on a lecture tour to Austria and decides he won't return to Germany. Sebastian Baumann takes me aside after the meeting looking nervously over his shoulder. What is it? Sebastian, I ask. Listen, he says. When a man loves a man or a woman loves a woman, do you believe that that is wrong? No, it's not wrong. I think love is love, no matter who is loving whom, I say, and see a relieved smile on his face. Um, that gave us plus 5 morale as well. We'll go and do this one day, extra day, and then see what happens after. So we can contact a priest, meet a former unionist, buy paint, manually produce leaflets on new ones. Uh, so we could contact a priest, we need level 1 empathy. Sebastian can go and do that, it's not great preparation. I will go and do that. Uh, meet the former unionist. Sebastian's decent at that one. We'll stick him in there. Buy paint. So if we can go and get some more paint, can't she? Manually produce leaflets. Oh, we need level 3. Paul doesn't quite have it. What if we put them both in there? We'll go with them both. And we'll throw in all the paper we have. And let's go and do that. We lost one supporter, still 26 supporting goes. 8 marks gained. Uh, Paul Reinweb is writing and manually printing leaflets all night long. It's hard physical work and he's trying his best but he's only producing a small amount which was 4 and they both think they've been seen. 
So Fihan goes to the shop for paint. Um, in fact, with two paint buckets full of paint. Hmm? I go and see the priest. Someone's been watching, there's been a witness. Uh, uh, of course. The witness leaves. Things go well. Priest is an opponent of the regime and tells there might be many members of his community willing to help us. So I've definitely been seen. Um, I guess that means I've been tracked. Sebastian gains one support from the Unionist. He hasn't been seen. Late, I'm having a drink at the bar in Haxican Mott when a man storms through the door yelling, The Reichstag is burning. The Communists have burned down the Reichstag. I'm going to run outside. That is a can. Um, streets are full of people. A red glow illuminates the, side, uh, the sky. This is terrible. What are we all still doing here? Says a woman in a fur coat. Let's go there and find out what happened. People around there agree. Uh, group forms. <coughs> I joined the group and together we all walked down the empty streets. All the way to the Reichstag. The closer we get the more intense the smell of smoke and fire gets. We'll pull my scarf over my nose. We're not going to avoid breathing are we? Uh, an officer tells us that the air is closed and to leave. I'm going to speak to the woman in the fur coat. He led us away from the bar. I'm going to ask her, who did she think did it? She says, how the hell should I know? All I can tell you is things have become very unpleasant ever since that aggressive little clown took over and this... This looks like his style, but you didn't hear that from me, alright? Sure, I nod. Good, she smiles. People like me are in enough trouble already. People like you, I ask her. You seem alright. You seem alright, she says, ignoring my question. If you ever feel like dancing to the music of our new rulers despise, come by. Dance make a card that says giraffe, dance bar, cabaret, and appears into the crowd. Talk to the big man. Um, I ask him who he thinks did it, and he took it as if I was blaming him. I didn't say it was you, I reply, but someone did. Uh, what's your theory? Boxer comes in close, slows his voice, he says. The Nazis did it, obviously. They were used to take out everyone, you'll see. He looks left, right, and leaves. Police are now aggressively pushing the crowd back. We'll go and approach a man in a Great War uniform. What do you want? He says sharply. Who started the fire? I ask him. The communists did, and the Jews. Same thing, really. He raises his voice. But this will be their death sentence. This will be the last time they attack the German people. Hitler was shown no mercy. They are done. Done. The police have pushed us back. I've seen enough, and we go home. Uh, we dream of the fire, and I'm going to say nothing good will come of this. So we can potentially visit the giraffe. We've got plus three morale and an extra reporter this time. Obviously, all the front law is that it's on fire. Hitler has declared it an act of terrorism and enacted marital law. Uh, Roman. Pulls us aside. His brother has gone so far. His brother is now a SS member. Excuse me. Hiccup there. Um, his brother... Don't really want to risk the group. But we're going to get him to be an informant. End of scene. And that's the checkpoint, and that's how we're going to end this episode. Um, I am going to play on and complete this game. It's a game that I am actually enjoying. Uh, it's a pretty good game. The only error so far I've seen is that spelling error. I've got a feeling it's going to take a massive turn for the worst at some point. But yeah, we're going to we're going to have a play through of this game. It seems pretty decent. Like I say, if you are enjoying it and you want to play it yourself, my affiliate link will be down in the description down there. So go click on that um let me know if you've enjoyed this this first episode this first look at this game um let me know down in the comments leave a like button 
and for plenty more first looks, plenty more gameplays and plenty more real life stuff. I've got plenty of things planned for you. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe and see you in the next one.